In this video, I will show you how to use Browse.ai. So Browse.ai is a tool that does a bunch of different things. And as you can see on their website, they claim they are the easiest way to extract and monitor data from any website. So you can train a robot in two minutes and there is no coding required. Now here in their use cases, you can see under popular use cases, they have a bunch of them right here. And these are all trained bots that you can just implement into whatever you need it for. However, you can also really easily create your own bot within a few minutes. Now, before getting started, I want to take a look at the pricing. So you can see they have a completely free plan forever. And this gets you 50 credits per month, which is not that much. But the fact that it is free is really useful. So you can compare the plans right here and see what exactly you need. Now, if you do want to get a 10% lifetime discount, then I'll leave a link down in the description. And if you sign up through that link, you will get 10% off on Browse AI for the lifetime that you use it for. So for now, just go and click get started for free. Then here, enter your email address and password or continue with Google. I'll just continue with Google. So then here you have a few questions. So what is your name? Which country do you reside in? Which state? Then what is your occupation? How did you hear about Browse AI? And then you can either tick this box or not if you would like to receive product updates and then simply click get started. So now you can go and build a new robot. So select a category below so we can show you more relevant instructions. So you can do extract structured data or you can monitor site changes. Those are the main two things that Browse AI does. So just going to pick whatever you want. You can see what exactly it does here. So extract structured data from any website with no code, download data as a spreadsheet or integrate it with your software using Browse AI API. Then monitor site changes is to monitor your competitors and get notified when they change their website or their listings on other sites. Now, for example, I will go with monitor site changes, but just pick the one that you need. Then here you want to go and enter the URL of the website that you would like to monitor. For example, I'll add this software right here and then go and click on start training bot. However, if this is a website that you need to log into to monitor the data, then you want to tick that box. But in this case, that's not necessary. So I'll click start training bot. Now you can either use the robot studio or the Chrome extension to train your robot. Now using the robot studio is a new feature where you can train your robot in the new browser experience with improved user interface and no need to install anything. So I'm going to be using the robot studio. So then here you will see the website that you entered. Now here at the right, you can see what data do you want to extract. To begin, navigate to the page you would like to extract data from, then choose an option below. So for example, I'll go to the pricing of this website. And now you can choose to capture the text or the screenshot. Now I would like to capture text. So then what I can do is I can capture a list or any other text on this page. Hover over the options below to see how they work. So from a list, so you can see that right here, or just text. I will go with just text since I want to do the pricing here. So click just text in this case. And then go and hover over it. And then click on it if you want to monitor that text. And you can see you can monitor anything here. But I'll just choose all of these pricing packages. So then go and click on confirm if you want to monitor those. Now you can enter a label. So for example, just pricing. And then click check and just do this for all of them. So pricing, for example, this package is called import 200. So then I would name this one pricing import 200 and this one pricing advanced 800. And then again, click on the check. So now you can see this right here. So now when any of these values right here change, you will be notified. Now you can do this for a bunch of different things. For now, just click save captured texts. And now if you're done, you can click finish. But for example, I could also monitor the Shopify pricing, Facebook, Amazon, Wix, or any of those other ones. But I'll just go and click on finish right there. So now you can give the robot a name. So this one's called Monitor Auto DS, automated dropshipping tool for your store. So I'll just click save. Now you can run it once every day 
week, month, hour, or minute. Now, if you want to do once per minute, for example, you will need to have the paid plans. Same with the hour, but you can do month, week, and day completely for free. Now, one credit is basically one time that you run it. So in this case, I would be using one credit per day. Now you can choose specific days that you want to do it on. Then you can choose a time that you would like to do it at. And you can notify yourself by email if there is a change in the captured text. For now, just click save once you're done. And now here they will run a task and you can see the results below. Then you can download the results if you want. And they will also take a screenshot as you can see right here. For now, I'll just click on finish setup. And now I have set up this robot. Now what you can go and do is add an integration or do deep scraping. So deep scraping means that you chain two robots together to extract data from the URLs extracted by the first robot. What I'll do is click on add integrations so I can connect to Google Sheets, Zapier or other APIs to store or use your data. Now I want to integrate with Google Sheets. So from this section here, I'll just select Google Sheets. So now you can enable syncing to Google Sheet, then choose your authorized account. So click authorize new account, and then you can go and sign in with Google and click continue, click continue. And now you will see I've synced my Google account with browse. Now you can select a spreadsheet if you already have one. Now I don't have one yet, so I would first need to go and create one and then select that one. For now, I'll just close this. And now you can activate that integration. But for example, I'll quickly create a new spreadsheet. So name it AutoDS, for example, and click Create Spreadsheet and activate integration. Now you can also edit the data mapping settings if you want. But now I've simply set up this entire robot. However, they also have the popular use cases that I went over before. To do this, you can click Browse Pre-Built Robots. And here you will see a bunch of pre-built robots. So you can filter by category, by site. For example, if I want to go by Airbnb, then you have this robot. So extract list of places in search result from Airbnb, unlock valuable insights from Airbnb hotels with this pre-built robot. So I can go and click on this one. Then you can see the use cases and click use this automation. And then again, I can follow these steps to start using this robot and then integrate it with Google Sheets or any of the other integrations. Now in the categories, you can also, for example, go with e-commerce monitoring and then you can extract product lists from eBay. You have AppSumo integrations, Etsy, Pinterest, and they are always updating this so that there are more of them. So just find a pre-built robot that you can use or create your own in order to start using this. Now here in my Google spreadsheets, you can see I now have this spreadsheet called AutoDS. And if I open this one up, here updates will appear when it is being monitored by browse AI. So I can then see that right here. Now, if you go back to browse AI and head over to your robots, you can simply see your robot here and update it if you want. Then in the top right here on the green circle, you can see how many credits you have used and how many are available. So I've used one of them. Then reserved is the credits that will be spent or become available again once your in progress tasks finish. Otherwise, you can send them the available upgrade. 48. So in the free plan, you get 15 monthly credits. So if you don't need to run a bunch of different tasks or do them a lot, then that's probably all right for you. And again, if you want to get a 10% lifetime discount on Browse AI, you can go and sign up through the link down in the description. So now you know how to use Browse.ai. If this video was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.